Ready to start investigating? Great! Then let's go! I've delivered packages all over, but I've never seen a mysterious fairy tale world like this before. Looks like nobody has gotten around to repairing this house yet. Ugh, even I wouldn't dare to see them there. It might suddenly collapse in on you. Nothing to see here either. Maybe we can find someone to ask? Aha! Over there! I bet we'll find some people there. Let's go take a look! I was sure there'd be people here. There once was a goddess who ruled over fate. Before she died, she left three riddles for the kingdom she had created. What? Who said that? Long story short, on this day, a sentient feline, an outlander, and a uh, diminutive pixie arrived on the scene. They saw a narrow path off to the side. Okay, but which side? Yeah, if you gave ambiguous instructions like that to a Comania Express courier, they'd give you the parcel right back and tell you to write the delivery address more clearly. Despite how obvious the answer was, the perplexed pixie and the flummoxed feline struggled to work it out. Hmm. Although, perhaps a small part of the blame could be attributed to my dull narration. All right, let's uh, try this again. <clears throat> the path on the left-hand side seemed to give off an enticing fragrance, as if to say, uh, this is the way to wealth and glory. Ooh, that sounds like the start of a good story. Then what? Then what? At the end of the path, the Marquis crew would spot a secret stone room. A prophecy had once foretold the Marquis who shall one day venture inside, and thus it is named the Future Marquis About to Be. You like it? The Future Marquis About to Be? What a nice thing to expect, doesn't it? That was a little bit boastful. But before you continue, I must warn you of the danger that runs ahead. For example, under no circumstances, should you sit on the chair. And I'm sure you don't want to be honest. I'll keep this brief. Firstly, the place ahead of you is a secret room whose purpose, by the legends, is to await the arrival of a certain marquee. For that reason, it's called the future marquee's about to be. And secondly, when you get inside, don't sit on the chair in the center, or bad things will happen. There, that's all. Off you go. <coughs> so many summers, winters, springs, the weary thumbs falter in their quest. For home they long, for friend and kin they yearn. These thoughts in mind, they pause and see what best to cease this foolish errand and return. Hey, my time's over. Here we go. It's time for the desktop documents after all. As Golden Sunlight fills them, captivated by the epic poetry and enthralled by the outstanding storytelling, the Outlanders knew what their next objective was. Namely, to remove the clockwork key from the raised platform up ahead. Come in. With wood and earthenware strewn all around, the demon feline's fury can't be drowned, reducing them to rubble on the ground. Uh, no, no you don't. I wrote that line. Don't start plagiarizing just because you can't take a bit of criticism. What's up with all the content here? Uh, perhaps the Outlanders are worried that something drastic will happen the moment they remove it. Maybe that's why they're investigating the area thoroughly first. Can't fault them for that. I'm wondering if you can take advantage of this outtime to discuss whether we really need to keep this up. Oh, you guys don't want to put out voices speaking first, be my guest. Just don't blame me for your own polite comments. Yeah, I noticed that too. It's one standard for us and another for you. That's not fair, Cabe. Stop the ball. We have a situation. Something's up with this person. Traveler, are you alright? Strong as stone, firm as steel. The outlander bowls, but it does not yield. This has happened many times before, but this time it's different. A thought enters the outlander's mind. Attack, attack! First to weaken the structure, then seize the treasure! The attack now over! Only one final step remains! Now it is the time to seize the key! Yes, finally! Come on, move your butts! And your legs swing to celebrate order! It's showtime! No hard feelings about your lack of poetic contributions? Oh, I Welcome, esteemed and noble outlander. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We represent the three great clans of this realm, having been selected as its authorized historical supervisors. Our purpose being to await the arrival of one such as yourselves, who shall remove the clockwork key. My name is... You're Cape, he's Albizzi, and that's Valorano, right? You've done so much talking that we can already tell you apart by your voices. Aren't we missing someone, though? The guy who led us here to begin with? Who? <clears throat> and thus was born the long-awaited fellowship, destined to uncover the truth of the past. Allow me to quote, if I may, in the history of Constellation Metropole, a new page has begun. Him. Well, there's no fourth person, so... Which of you is a ventriloquist? Come on, out with it! We've never heard that voice before, but he sounds like he'd be good at reading bedtime stories to children. Whoever it is, I don't know and I don't care. Forget about it. We have far more important things to focus on, like where our journey goes from here. That key you hold is the pivot point about which the past and present of the Metropole revolve. However, between our three clans, there is some dispute over the historical record. 
Each clan has its own version of history, detailing the clan's origins and the tale of the dragon of old, and unfortunately, we don't know which one is the truth. Dragon? You mean the one that's been acting up recently? Oh, no, 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 not that one, you adorable little pixie. When I say dragon of old, <laughs> he means a dragon that would be really, really old if it was still with us today, but it was defeated in ancient times. The one has nothing to do with our clan history. Uh, was that supposed to be a joke? <clears throat> uh, anyway, so you've been waiting for someone to remove the key so you can finally explore the truth of the past? Not just explore it, but argue incessantly about it. Honestly, I don't care that much. That makes the one who's always bothering us about it. What we need to figure out is who resolved the dragon crisis. We have to know that before we can decide which is the supreme clan. The moment you removed the key from where it was lodged, you became the honorary marquee. We humbly beseech you, noble outlander. Noble traveler marquee, we ask you to help us. You and your... Uh, your talking puss in boots and the pale floating pixie. Puss in boots? Are you serious? It's better than team and feline, but still. Embrace it, my friend, embrace it. Most cats don't wear boots or speak, do they? I'm not even a cat, I'm a nekuma. Now that you know the word, I expect you to use it. Please allow me to lead you all to a sacred memorial site. It will be much easier to explain what needs to be done once we are there. This place is sacred to my clan. It's where our brave forefathers once took up arms against the dragon of old. After a bitter battle that dragged on for many days and nights, finally, our forefathers fought the dragon into submission, and it fled. This returns them. Some forefathers worked the day shift, while others worked the night shift. So they say, it's just a legend, though. Wait, a second? Did I just hear you admit that your clan's history is just a legend? A history, legend, who cares? My clan was definitely great, just that's the point. That's the truth. And is it the truth, what we've all been arguing about non-stop for all these years? Kevin's words gave the dragon a food for thought. Could it be that the truth in a fictional world is equivalent to fiction in the real world? Well, that would have to wait. Apparently, Cafe was not alone in his pilgrimage to this sacred site. Unwanted company had arrived. The traveler and the talking cat, <clears throat> Nekamata, decided to teach them some manners. Martial prowess and show of courage are a more vivid reenactment of my ancestors' feats. The Sukumaru aesthetic. Now, let's get down to business. As we all know, time is but an illusion. Time may flow line by line, page by page, or frame by frame, but usually. And that clockwork key you have in your hand can turn back time and make the past reappear. Well, actually, my view is that the illusion of time is more of a problem of consciousness. Years power the body, while the body is the vessel of the conscious mind. But the mind cannot. I, I'm getting flashbacks to when I was delivering packages to the Samara Academia. A teacher once asked Albizzi what his greatest fear was, and he replied, dragons. Bograno was asked the same question. He replied, time, and repeated the argument we just heard. The teacher then turned to Cafe and posed the same question. He replied, Bograno. The manuscript that tells the truth of the historical record. Uh, Paimon didn't follow all that, but basically, you're just saying that we need to put the key in and turn it all the way back? Exactly. It is said that in the beginning, the goddess of creation took the goddess of fate's manuscript as a blueprint, placed it under the goddess of prophecy's starry realm, and generated the world from a few magical rays. So in a few moments, when the great clockwork key turns the local time here back to the very beginning, we will restore the magical rays back to their original configurations. Well, hold on, isn't stealing part of the blueprint of creation a little dangerous? Also, how are we supposed to know the original configurations of the magical rays? Uh, well, the general shapes of the configurations have been passed down over the... <laughs> to address your other concern, when the house has already been built, do you really think that taking away the construction crew and blueprint will cause it to collapse? The traveler monkey prepares to insert the great clockwork key into the nearby keyhole. Behold, the sacred writings that record the truth of... No, wait. Feast your eye. I don't believe it. Don't lose heart, Albizzi. It does... That might be the most bogus... And yet, it's a... The party decided... Isn't the narrator supposed to remain... Oh, whatever. I'm not good Let's do it. Let's do my clan next. I'll lead the way. We'll need the key, right? Let me see if I can pull it out. Yoink. Hmm, the party finds no pet. Where's your clan's pedestal? Oh, let me guess. You hit it away in advance to save yourself. You done? Okay. Misinformation. Ah, shut up. Shut, shut up, Cap-A. I swear, follow the... <clears throat> My clan's claim to fame is that we outwitted. So almost. There's one step. Of... Jeez. What's... The correction fluid. But worry not. I have. Question one. Who is it? The great yokai, Nekumara in boots, and the trusty travel guy pixie. A uh, travel guy. Trusty travel guy. Question two. By which virtue did the ancients defeat the dragon? If this is the right answer. I swear. I'll... Correct. But uh, uh, question three. Which is more real, the fiction of the outside world or the truth of this world? Here. Who can be sure that the outside world isn't just a dream? And that when the dreamer wakes up, they won't just find themselves inside a novel. There is no way to know. All correct. You may have. Traveler Marquis, you know what must be done. Please insert the great clockwork key. Oh, and uh, this is my family crest. Oh, did we 
really need this one? Now, let me see what... What elaborate fiction, if anyone's listening. It seems like Oberano. Oh, I know what's going on. What? When I was drinking with Gucci, I just, oh, whichever one I guess. Uh, but then? Oh, uh, no. Actually, that reminds me. We can know. Cool. Well. Guess I'll take a copper key down then. Look. Ha! This has no benefits to another one. Truth up ahead is my clan's. Wait. Oh, the Guardian is one of Cafe's. Mine is the clan of empathy. And our what's empathetic? Our ancestor. So, they uh, the serum isn't what it once was, though. Nowadays, it does. Despite our BC's words of caution, some in doubt has other ideas. Surely we could avoid a conflict with the guard, I think. Everyone, I have returned. I come with the long awaited Marquis and their followers to search for the lost origins of our clan. Well, we weren't told anything about. <sighs> you and our BC only wanted to strike up a conversation with the guard. But since Gucci wasn't one of the items included in today's schedule, relationship quickly sank. If you're just looking for him, I'll consider. Why is my own clan treating me like a villain? You've been away too long. We all have. It's just like we've been forever. Over here! I found it! We should be getting close. Why is this place so... Uh, well, never, never mind that. We have a more quest. This is the last one. The signature. So it's true. Just as we- Uh... I get you. It's like in Inazuma, when there were only six books in the Mirage Warrior series, it was really popular. But by the time book number 88 came out, nobody wanted to read it. Well, hey, which moment of joy? Anyone? Anyone? That's exactly what I was wondering, but overall, I'm so kind of- It's not a stupid question at all. The problem is, all three truths are the history of the exact same thing. Suddenly, the sound of a bell rings out. We will never. Is that all there is to it? Mm. There can't be any more. Whatever happens, me too. And me. Let's leave it there for today then. Sleep. What a beautiful day, thought the traveler, before he was overcome by a creeping sense of foreboding. You suspect, nor do I have your thoughts. My sincere condolences. Uh, yeah, no. So. That is good. Uh, wait. No, no! Uh, push. <coughs> then suddenly, long lost trouble. Uh, I didn't see anything. Uh, one second. We just found uh, it. Robert, are you able to turn time backwards and replay the crime? Isn't that one of those uh, clockwork socket things right behind you? Ah, uh, so. Constellation met. But didn't you say Kathy was struck in the back of the head and knocked unconscious? For all I know, he could have asked for wine. Uh, Will they suit only then? Uh, you really think he's capable of traveler? Something about the crime scene isn't sitting right with also anything outside of the immediate area. Why don't we? Why? What are you doing? Oh, we're uh, we're gonna head to Kathy's house to check the toilet bowl for signs of an impact. Okay, Max. What is he doing all the way 
Look here. There's gotta be a story behind it. Let's take it. Hello there. Someone was. There's a spear here. Looks so mysterious. Let's take it. Uh, you're a. Uh... Yep. Oh, sorry. Ah, well, I'll uh... keep the toy training and in terms of. I'm not. Welcome to the point of view. So, I'm still, I'm missing pickaxe. Well, of course, hold it. There's a strange potion bottle here. Looks so weird. Let's take it. Let's say one of these was the weapon used in the assault. Which one do you think it is? If it was the blood serum, Pepe would have been turned into a giant. Also, the bottle probably would have shattered when it hit him. We would have seen the debris on the ground. Let's say one of these was the weapon used in the assault. Which one do you think it is? If so, there's no way his head would still be in such good shape. And if the guard is to be believed, he had... Let's say one of these was the... If it was the pickaxe, Pepe sure is lucky it's not still larger than his head. Actually, you're wrong, but... You... Let's take this back. Ah, oh, you're back. That was a toy. Toilet? What about it? Oh, oh, yeah, uh, forget that. What's this about? What are you trying to say? We thought the way Pepe fell looked odd, so we searched the area for suspicious items and found this. It could have been deliberately placed... Oh, uh... Oh, no, you stay right there. Uh... We should be good now. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. This way, it is the last link I have to the land of my birth. This scene looks wonderful. Surely not to convince anyone to become a wanderer. lies an internal logic that is undoubtedly real-world truth in a condensed form. B but let there be no doubt. The world within fairy tales is as real as can be, and by extension, you and your compatriots are also real. Goddess, is it really you? The line that separates footnotes from narrative can never be crossed. Never the two shall meet. This is why you have never heard my voice before. But now you wish to break free from the story, and there's a cat nearby so you can hear my echo. An echo what up? Just your echo? Oh, poor detective. So, we are a part of the real world, too. <sighs> My head's spinning. Albizzi just gave me a quick rundown of the situation. So you caught- Sora, we chased him until he surrendered. Does he 
really think we didn't try that? Ah, uh, that was my bad. I, I uh... Never mind. Uh, you guys are so lazy. Uh, anyway, uh, you said there is a... What would you guys say to taking a trip to the outside world sometime? Depends. Do you know how to get there? Well, I guess. But maybe the reason we never get someone ever... <laughs>